hello guys welcome back to crystal craft we're back again with another video tutorial of how to draw this beautiful painting so we'll start by taking a piece of this cardboard you can always go with canvas if you have it and then in the next step i'm gonna apply my masking tape on all the four sides of my wash on my um cardboard paper so when we are covering these sides please make sure to press them well so that any extra paint won't go um, under the tape and these um, tapes will make a really fine beautiful white border at the end of the painting then when we're gonna remove them after the paints have dried so the idea is um, to draw first the flower and leaves on the base on the very first layer of our painting um i'm gonna use the pencil because after um we can uh, after any kind of mistake if you want to erase it if you want to change the design if you want to add or you know remove anything you can always erase it erase the pencil and you can redo it so i'm gonna draw a kind of sunflower with a lot of petals because my favorite flower is sunflower so after I'm done with my petals, I'm gonna draw leaves too. You can draw any other flower if you want. You can draw roses, tulips, um, lavender or any kind of flower you like. Or you can draw any other thing. If you don't want to draw a flower, you can always go with any tree or anything, any object you like. I am making the petals a little more dark because when we're gonna paint on it um, they will go um, a little lighter so they have to be visible after the paint because we we will redo the pencils the pencil sketch with a marker a wall pen of a darker black shade so I'm going to draw these little um, leaves here and there See, the basic sketch is really pretty. So we're almost done with our second step. Mm, I think it's enough. So the next, I'm gonna put my masking tapes randomly all over it to create a kind of triangles and squares with it. You see, I'm taking um, tiny strips of the masking tape and I'm going to put them in diagonal positions, up and down, right and left, just randomly, and they will create a kind of um, a triangles and rhombuses and squares. These are just random. You can always um, put your masking tape in squares only in up and down um, position. So it, they will kind of create a chest pattern and you can always paint them white and black. This is also an idea. But I wanted my painting to be colorful. So I just randomly uh, put the tapes here and there. And then I will paint with multicolors in between the spaces uh, of the cardboard that are left. Okay, I think these will be enough. So these are my brushes that I'm gonna use and I will take this one first. It has really soft um, brushes and tips. So first I'm gonna paint the pink color. It have to be multi. You can always go with two or three color combination if you want. Mm, you can make it pink and purple you can always go with any combination you like and yellow and purple is also a good combination but multicolors they look really pretty so after this one i decided to go with the orange shade leave the tapes and cover the rest of your space with the paint You can always apply double layer or triple layer. I wanted my colors, poster colors to be lighter in shade. So I only put one layer. As you can see, 
the flower sketch that we did in the second step it is still visible the visibility is really important because um, we have to overdo it and um, use a black marker after the paints will dry green is also looking pretty the next color will be um, I think it's gonna be yellow yellow is a really cool color it gives a really refreshing vibe but you know here all the colors are giving really refreshing and fresh vibes that I wanted for my painting the next will be blue light blue shade or sky blue shade be colorful with the, your paints because you don't want to add mm, different colors and mix different colors together so move your hand really carefully and don't go over the masking tape to the um, other section of the colors only do a certain color in its specific section and this will keep your drawing a painting really neat it's okay if you get some paints on the tape because we're gonna remove the tapes at the end and the video is getting long so the rest of it will be in the part 2 so check out the second part to see the results subscribe to my channel and like the video also share with your friends if you like the video thank you for watching